Hi, beauties and curls. It is Melissa Q. Yes, we are back. We are back. And we are talking about July favorites. I am late on the train, but it's okay. I finally got my ticket. It is time for July favorites. If you are new, I just want to let you know, welcome. If you're OG, you know how we roll. Yes. And if you hadn't hit the subscribe button, go on and hit it. Have you hit it yet? I would love for you guys to be a part of the Melissa Q family over here because we are jamming. We have so much fun. And yes, my Tweeple, that's my people on Twitter, and my Snapchatigans, those are my people on Snapchat, and my Insta Grammys. Yes, y'all are the MVPs. I love you guys. Hit me up on any of my social. And yeah, let's just jump right in. So we have a bit of everything okay we got makeup we got natural hair we are going to talk about shows in this one netflix yes we're not going to talk about beauty boxes but i do have the giveaway for y'all okay i do have the giveaway you know i'm not going to leave y'all without the giveaway so let's just jump right in to this video do y'all realize it's almost fall anyway yes so let's talk about natural hair first I have been going back over and over again I have realized that my Eagle Styler olive oil is amazing for slicking nose edges I love coconut oil but sometimes coconut oil can be a bit heavy and leave a cast on them edges sometimes but this is super amazing y'all Eco Styler is the MVP it is like the OG it's like the natural hair this is the mother of all gels. This is usually when most naturals that I have seen, this is what they start off with. I love this. It's alcohol free. And this is the olive oil one. I really do enjoy this. And I use it to slick down them edges. And it gives just like a great hole. If I use it in my hair, sometimes I will get a crunch. But I can also crunch that out with some oil, which is what I'm going to talk about in just a second. But this is the MVP gel. I love it. I go back to it. I feel like that this is like a must have in a natural's life. I don't know. That's just how I feel. But I really do enjoy this. And yes, it does have uh, glycerin. It has wheat protein. So if you are protein sensitive and you get a lot of dryness or you get an itchy scalp, that might be the reason. So I'm just saying. But that I absolutely love. Okay, so the next one on my list, I keep going back to this. And y'all, I think I'm going to come with another video of talking about my natural hair because right now I feel like my natural hair is kind of like in a funk you know what I mean it's like it just is at a plateau of growing and I know my hair can get longer it's been longer than what it is right now but yeah I, I keep going back in the back of my mind and then I go back into some of my videos and I see what I was I using for my hair to look like that because it looked good what was I using? So I went back to my Bakura Beauty Apple and Sorghum Supple Hair Syrup. Now this one, the first ingredient I want to say is castor seed oil, second sesame, hemp, olive oil, mango. It has some really, really great in ingredients. And when my hair was growing like a weed, I kid you not, I was using this nonstop, especially last summer. My It was nonstop. This was like on the list. So I have a backup. I've used this much of this one. I've gone through maybe about this is maybe about my third bottle which says a lot because I rotate my natural hair products a lot and I really do love this it's just like my favorite hair oil this this has to stay in my rotation like I won't be without this if I like if I'm halfway y'all know I don't have I don't like buying backups now so this is one once I got halfway I would definitely pick up another one just so it's not a backup but it's when I'm running out of one that I have one on hand to grab because if I didn't have this I kind of would feel some kind of way hope you know what I mean by that so yeah the next thing it's another Bacura Beauty product and this is the leave-in and the hair product that hair products that I have in my hair today and it is the Bacura Silk and Honey it's not even called Silk and Honey it's called the honey latte detangling hair milk and it's a lightweight and that's probably why I like it so much this is a lightweight it you can use this as a leave-in conditioner and a moisturizer it's a dual product which I absolutely love y'all know I love my multi-purpose products I love this and it is it's, this one it smells like nectarine vanilla I think this might be the only scent that they have this smells so good this smells like 
very very sweet peaches that's what it smells like this is the consistency of it so all I do is take it it's very light and I just scrunch it into my hair now it's so light that I feel like it gives my hair more fluff and I just scrunch it in like so and then I will take my apple sorghum I'll take a couple of and when I say it's like a thick so you don't need much oh this smells so good oh goodness and I just and it brings some shine and oh my goodness I mean it gives me fluffiness for days but it keeps me super moisturized so I just scrunch it in like that and bada bing bada boom take the rest of it put it there and I, I just love these natural hair products yeah I, I can't be without those so those are a couple of my favorites some makeup favorites one of my favorite I actually had it on I'm gonna actually put it on now I had it on another video and uh, this is Oh, I love that. This is Skinny Dip by Jouer. I also have tan lines. I have been killing tan lines. This is, tan lines is actually what I wore in my collab with Serene Wu, which is one of my other favorites, y'all. That July was like a really good month for me because I got to collab with one of my all-time favorite YouTubers. And y'all, people can talk about, people can act like that they're the Ace Boon Coon here on YouTube, but I'm a fan girl. There are so many people that I love here. So it's just, I mean, there are some people that if you ask me who I would want to collab with, Serene Wu is definitely one of them. It was so chill. We got so many great positive feed. We got some a lot of uh, positive feedback from that and I got a couple of you guys are from her channel so welcome I'm so glad that you guys decided to click and you all are interactive I love the fact that y'all comment on my videos yes but this is her and I have that love for Jouer Cosmetics I have a couple of more of their products that I've talked about that I have their primer the hydrating primer the thing I love about Jouer is that they're very like prone to like very anti like anti-aging and having benefits skincare benefits in their products this smells like macaroons I used something like this at a wedding that I had in July for a girl I did her wedding and I use it on her lips and she was like oh whatever you are using it smells amazing these smell like macaroons y'all it smells good and I did not realize how much I not only am I a lipstick fiend a lip gloss fiend but I like for my lip products to smell good because a lot of times I'm doing this I'm smelling you it's like smelling your upper lip to be honest with you and when you know you get a little smooch smooch from you know the hubs you gotta smell good. The lips gotta smell good. And he's always like, girl, them juice of lip. Give them, bring, bring them, bring them here. Bring them here. I love skinny dip and I, I really do love this. And I love tan lines. Tan lines, if you are of a deeper skin tone, you're going to love that. That is like goddess bronze all day long. These are amazing toppers. I feel like that this is like holy grail in my makeup collection. I won't be without these. And I want to pick up rose gold because y'all know how I feel about rose gold. So I really do love these. It brings a shine. It's not going to be sticky on the lips. And you can top it off of anything. And it just brings the it brings that lip factor up a notch. You know what I'm saying? So I love those. So let's talk in terms of sunscreen. I have been loving this. I picked this up from Gem Beauty. Gen Beauty is amazing, y'all. I'm just saying, I if you have not been to a, a Gen Beauty, you have to go. I feel like it's one of the best beauty like beauty like community conventions that you could ever experience. It it brings creators and makeup lovers together. And I actually was able to purchase this at the Tarte booth. Tarte is one of my favorite brands. I absolutely love this. This is the Tarte Guard 30. I use this on my face today and I like that it the smell of it is not like crazy sunscreen now it does smell like sunscreen but not like to the extreme I can tell a difference the way that my skin looks when I apply this it's almost kind of like primerish to be honest with you versus other sunscreens and I have like Lancome I have Dr. Jarts which I do love those sunscreens but this one I love I got this in the travel size so I have another one 
and sunscreen y'all you can't keep around too long I love that they actually have an expiration date after use this by November which this is almost gone anyway but I have been killing this I love the bottle oh my goodness I'm gonna be sad that I actually have to throw this bottle away because it's so cute I love the color it's like a pinkish uh, color but I absolutely love this but this is probably one of my favorite sunscreens and now that I love how smooth this is I don't know what it's about I don't know what's in this tart but you did it you did that uh, with this one so I absolutely love it okay so I used this at the wedding and everybody like really took notice of the bride that I did her makeup in it was so so beautiful Jacqueline girl you did your thing on this now a lot of people are talking about yes the packaging gets dirty okay I can live without that I can live with and really I can kind of wipe this stuff off so it's not like yeah really it, we've seen worse packaging okay but the contents the inside you cannot lie that this is not a good palette and look what I did now a lot of people are talking about that they could not they didn't have a card you probably did have the card but it looked like it looked like a postcard that comes in the box and you probably threw it away because it was on the back of it had all of the colors so if I was able to turn this over you would see it said Morphe brushes you probably threw that away but it did come in my box and I didn't get one of the PR boxes and theirs is larger but I did get this and what I did was I taped it down to the back of it since it didn't have a mirror and I love that I can see what color so when I talk about a favorite color I can tell you what it is Im immediately or when you see me do a tutorial or something on my channel I can talk about what shade it is so let me tell you some of the shades that I absolutely love from this palette I have not dipped into uh, all of the shades but quite a bit of these okay so first of all I can tell you how they dipped in it because of how soft these are these are so some of the softest now Anastasia is still my favorite I ain't gonna lie but this palette is everything that I would need if I was starting off doing makeup or if I was like if I if I'm a beginner this is beginner friendly I think that this is everything that you need if you only have one palette in your life to purchase this would be a palette that needs to be on the list so some of my favorite cream sickle right here this one is silk cream I love actually these two M F E O I love these two I love Queen Queen is my favorite and I use this on the bride I actually use Queen on most of her lid and then I went in with mocha mocha is so beautiful and chip these two I love you can kind of tell y'all pukey I don't care what nobody say forget the name okay and y'all know y'all been hearing Jacqueline talk about it being pukey all the time she says at work I love this Jacqueline you did an amazing I haven't even dropped into these pops of shades but this is such even the little bit that I, I I feel like it was well worth my $38 but, but let me say something let me say something let me say something I even on my channel like when I on snapchat when I said that I was gonna pick this up and I I did pick it up a lot of the viewers I did not know how much of a struggle like out of town or out of town out of the country subscribers have or viewers or people that purchase makeup I did not know the struggle that y'all have and when y'all started talking about like this is not considered affordable it's affordable to us in the US but with duty fees and with customs and with the tax and the shipping I did not know how crazy it was so y'all know what I did y'all know what I did it's gonna be another video and it might probably be either my 15 or 20k giveaway but I did pick up another one and that one's gonna be open international like I my heart went out because I was like this is a wonderful palette but for shipping to be that crazy and I really do think that uh, because of this palette is so good this needs to be affordable for everyone okay even to my Canadian lovies I have people over in the UK and they're always asking if my giveaways are international I do plan on having more international I can't do all of them international on my channel but I do definitely my big giveaways I do plan on opening those up to 
my international. If it's not like partnered with somebody and I can decide myself, then I do plan on them being international. So just look out for this because I want I want someone to be able to get this that's not here, you know. So I want to open that up to you guys, but it my heart went out when I saw the struggle that y'all really have when it comes to when it comes to getting makeup that is available to here to us here in the US. And US YouTubers, we don't realize how blessed we are to have accessibility to all this makeup and a lot of countries don't. So just to let you know, just if you're watching this and you're a US YouTuber, just know that, or YouTube, uh, just, just a buyer in general, if you are in the US and you can buy, you know, you can go into an Ulta, we can order, we, we don't have those problems. And when we hear other people have shipping or issues and they can't get their product it really they have a frustration and i hear you guys so just wanted to say that i know that was long okay but anyway just had to say that too this yes please palette yes i do plan on getting karuchi i do like supporting other youtubers and her stuff is just doggone amazing i love the chi liquid lipstick and i am not a avid lover of liquid lipsticks but chi yes i love that's my favorite liquid lipstick of all time i can tell you right now but this is uh the yes please and i love they have the names on the back these colors are beautiful this is what i have on my eyes today i use this in my bts how to survive uni uh in college video and i use this if you want to see me um on Tuesday, you'll see um, that video is also a giveaway and how to be a good a roommate or a great roommate in uni. It's like back to college week. And so I use this palette and you'll see me how I used it on my eyes today. So um, I'll list everything down below. Let me know if you guys want me to list what's on my face because I get questions. It might be better for me just to go ahead and put it in the description box. But let me know if you guys want to see that in the description box. You know what I'm saying? But yeah this is one of my favorite palettes another video but these by ebony curls girl i need some more of these these are amazing this is like the kente type of and it matched this i had it in another video but i wanted to switch it up just so y'all could tell the difference you know what i'm saying but these are so so good and all you do quick toot is put this on y'all I love this I could wear it like this I can do the Jimi Hendrix but actually y'all know me I like making it cute and it's off my face I really do girl you doing your thing I love it love this ebony this is one of my favorites for the month this this is the Jane Iredell this is the pure and simple this is a kit now I'm not a fan of the packaging but the contents again I don't know it's something about this white packaging y'all that people love uh, are these brands but let me tell you something this gave me such an amazing look I was floored I will link the video over here you can check it out uh, Jane Iredell is known to be clean makeup I really do love this it is a these this is a foundation and a concealer mineral powder i did not know how hydrating this was going to be on my skin i thought i was going to be very dry and that's the fallacy that sometimes as normal to dry girls we think powders are going going to look dry on us and crack up now that can happen but it looks it, this looked amazing on me these are the ones that I was most impressed about and I would repurchase now the blush was very very nice as well and then the eye mineral eyeshadows I really was impressed by this but this is this definitely and the cheek and lip stain now I was really surprised about that too it dropped I'm not gonna pick it up right now but if you want to check it out and how I applied it how it looks and it looked amazing this is great for every day this is great for mature skin and if you are a beginner and you don't know where to start this is pure and simple makeup kit and this retail I want to say this is like either 30 or 33 dollars I'll put the link down below but I got this from um, influencer sent this to me and I'm so glad that they did it looks like the shades would not have worked for me and these are also amazing to pat on top of concealer so this is light enough where you can build up the coverage by itself but if I wanted to wear this and use it as a setting powder it's so finely milled that you would get great 
you could get great like a great full like snatched under eye makeup look using this so i really did enjoy that i have been loving this sugar pop now this is by Too faced i love this palette this is very realistic pops of color for me if i wanted to put a pop of color which i kind of like want to play this one makes you want to play in the colors when you open it up i'm going to use blue raspberry this this color looks so fun i'm gonna pop it right in the corner This is, oh, I love this. Y'all, I love that. Like, these are realistic pops of color, okay? I feel like, not saying that others are not realistic pops of color, but before the Jaclyn Hill palette came and had pops of color, this is a palette that I would go to just because I could see. Now, I would not use, I need to use a transition shade. That's the only thing that I didn't like about this. But this shade right here is gorgeous. I love my bronzers, my bronze shades. I love this shade, which is Blackberry. This is Malted Milk Ball. This is Macaroon. I just love these. Sugared Violet is a, so pretty. This shade looks so good. This is called strawberry ice i love this shade i could actually use it as a highlighter if i wanted to but this is so so beautiful i love the sugar pop it's limited edition i'm sorry if you can't get it but i can say that i really do like Too face uh products i love the sweet peach palette do i have that i don't have that one out but y'all I think I may have talked about it last month, but I have been killing this. This is a great summer palette. I wish that the Sugar Pop had a smell to it, and it doesn't, but I really do love these palettes. I keep this in my everyday makeup drawer, and if you want to look at that video, I'll make sure that I'll link it over here so you can check it out. But these are basically my summer palettes. I'm so glad that I designated these as my summer palettes, so these stay in rotation. This actually stays in here. I will switch out other palettes, but this stays for spring and summer. Going into fall, the Sweet Peach can do really be year round but I really do like this for spring and summer and I'm glad I have go-to it makes it easy for me to reach for let's talk about Marc Jacobs because Marc Jacobs has been killing it okay Mark Marky Mark okay Marc Jacobs fantastic this is so good I have to give it to Mark because this gives y'all I don't even know if you could see it but this makes you want to go into it first of all because it smells like coconut Second of all, because you get such a great bronze look. And if you are my skin tone, you could be even a little bit darker. My girl CJ, she could actually rock a bronzer like this. Now, it looks like it's nothing in the pan, but when you put it on, it has that perfect amount of warmth. I think it's right, it's great in the middle. If I wanted to use this and concentrate the look, I could actually use a denser brush and actually contour with this. This is so beautiful, and I... This needs to be on the permanent line, you guys. This Marc Jacobs, I'm sorry, I had to adjust everything. But this Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops best liquid light highlighter that I've ever had in my collection. And I have a lot. I have a lot of liquid highlighters and that I absolutely love. But this one by far is my favorite. I don't know, it's something about it. I used it today under my makeup. It's like whether you use it in, under your makeup or if you use it and mix it with your makeup it does this like kind of umph to your skin that just gives you a luminosity and such a beautiful glow that it is insane i don't know what it is marky mark this a lot of people are excited about tom Ford's summer collection this has me looking forward to the next collection by Marc Jacobs. Y'all know I love the lip creams, the lip creams that they have, lip cremes. Um, and this just like, mm, investing in some high-end products. Y'all, I'm not going to even lie that I could only live a drugstore. I don't know. This is just like, I'm glad that I took the splurge. Yeah, I think um, I'm going to pick up some other high-end products that I know that would be an investment in my collection rather than picking up like a whole bunch of cheap stuff. I feel like I'm just in that shift in my life. You know, it's like right now it's more it's more about quality than quantity okay and if i have to pay some more coins then uh, we shall do that okay yeah so i think that is it in terms of makeup now let's talk about a netflix i don't know about y'all but i have been loving 
the originals oh my goodness like i went through vampire diaries i'm on my i'm going through it again i love vampire diaries and the originals is kind of like a spinoff from vampire diaries so i love the originals they opened up another season i don't know if you say that they they have a new season okay rain has another season which i love rain so uh that is kind of like the story behind mary of scots which is really 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 good let me know what your favorites from netflix are and yeah let's just jump into the beauty boxes did y'all think i forgot about the beauty boxes no i have not tried any of the beauty boxes to be honest with you the only one that i did try was ipsy and i really did love it mine had a luxie brush which I love these brushes. I do. I think I gave one in a giveaway. But this one is really good with setting powder. And also is good for contouring. But this is the Luxie. This is the Precision Foundation Brush. You can use it for foundation. It's super duper fluffy. So it won't give you... I feel like it's great for powders though. So I really didn't try too much from any of the glam bags to be honest with you or the subscription boxes just because july was just so crazy for me to be honest with y'all i'm so sorry but we'll jump back on the wagon this month in august that's my favorites for the month you guys don't forget to enter the giveaway down below because i am giving away a mystery beauty bag yes full of makeup so i do that every month by the way if you don't win this month keep trying honey because yeah probably you got a couple of chances and i also have a couple of other giveaways i have my back to college giveaway going on right now that ebates team up with me and that's some gift cards y'all so look out for that one too so thanks so much for watching please subscribe and if you haven't checked out my other videos i will just link them over here i'll let you check them out yes let's just bring our attention to over here to our right your left and check out what i am doing for the month and yeah yeah that's pretty much it so don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out and i will see you in the next video bye ladies and oh by